Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon came out in 1980. I was a kid at the time. I was like 13. And man, I love this movie. It's an action-adventure science fiction movie, and it is wonderful. Uh, it's hard to go back and watch a movie like this now that you're an adult and not think, holy crap, that was crazy. But... At the time, it was it was wonderful. The plot is there's a football player and his friends. And by the way, this is based on uh, this is the based on the classic serials brought to the big screen as its own movie. They used to play serials in in uh, movie theaters, and it was uh, you'd get a little snippet. I want to say it was before the film. It's kind of like a little pre thing, like a warm up, but they would show little snippets of the film of a of a lar of a larger story kind of like a kind of like a comic book you know they would show little snippets of it and then go on with the main movie and the, the little snippets if you watched them enough movies in order they made they made their own story and that's where flash gordon achieved i i think achieved his greatest fame um but anyway uh this it, it's Everything about this is good, including it has a really great soundtrack by Queen. Let me get back to the plot, because I've skipped a bunch here. Uh, the, a football player and his friends hop on a rocket ship and blast off to the planet Mongo to save Earth from the diabolical attacks of the vicious tyrant and conqueror, Ming the Merciless. Flash must write, or excuse me, Flash must unite. Can't read my own writing. He must unite the warring kingdoms against Ming. Keep in mind, I'm going to say this again, this is not a serious movie. But it is a fun, fast-paced action adventure with corny jokes, silly special effects, and just outrageous dialogue. Um, and this, I, I'm going to plug it again. The soundtrack by Queen is brilliant. Queen did a, a lot of... Uh, Music for a lot of different movies. Uh, the song We Are the Champions. Um, well, the, the, the Princes of the Universe for the Highlander movie. And the Highlander TV series. Uh, it's just, it's just really great artists. Freddie Mercury was a treasure and he's gone now. Man could sing his ass off. Um, Alright, <clears throat> let's go on with this. Get to the cast. Sam J. Jones, he plays Flash Gordon. Melody Anderson plays Dale Arden, the, the girl. Uh, Max von Sydow, Brian Blessed, Richard O'Brien, Topol, T-O-P-O-L, Topol. Ornelia Muti, Timothy Dalton, he later on went on to play uh, James Bond. Uh, Peter Wingard, John Hallam, I mean, it's, just, it's loaded down with great, a lot of English actors. And a lot of uh, no names, but really great cast. Uh, I try to do standouts here. Um, now keep in mind, there, there's every movie has its place. This particular movie is not meant to be taken seriously. The special effects were corny. It wasn't. It was intended to be like one of those 1930 serials, you know. So they tried to make it, they tried to give it that feel. And with modern special effects the way they are, it kind of, kind of comes across as corny. So, But, <clears throat> listen to this. Max von Sydow played Ming the Merciless. This man is brilliant in everything he does. This, in my opinion, this movie was beneath him. But, he forced himself into this kind of classical dastardly villain type role and he really pulled it off he actually elevated this movie up a few notches in my opinion because you don't put max von sydow in a movie and it'd be even remotely bad so they were it was going to be a good movie if, if if all it did was him sitting around reading the back of a cereal box it was going to be good okay uh the other standout there's a man named brian blessed he plays uh, Prince Volton, and he's just such a great guy. Brian Blessed is a really, really good guy. He comes from, uh, his parents were miners in England, 
they mined, I want to say coal, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, his parents didn't want him growing up in that line of work, you know, because, you know. And he had an acting talent, so he became an actor, and he became a damn good actor. Um, and it, it, again, with him, he's such a great actor. Seeing how great an actor he is in other things since then, I have to say he, he pretty well had to force himself, himself into that role as well. And again, he did it brilliantly. This is, this is, the acting is, is pretty good. The, again, they tried to make it like the 1930 serials. But you put it in a modern setting and it does come across as corny. I'm absolutely positive these people had a hell of a lot of fun making this movie just because it was corny. So, how often as a serious actor do you get to do corny? You know what I'm saying? If you get a chance to see it, you're going to love it, and you're going to love the soundtrack, too. Uh, the movie is Flash Gordon from 1980. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.